Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review demo swatches and this eyeshadow look using the brand new by Rito Metal Boots in the Snow eyeshadow palette. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this new by Rito eyeshadow palette, then just keep on watching. This new Byredo Metal Boots in the Snow eyeshadow palette really got me intrigued, excited. I saw the first pictures about two or three months ago and I was like, wow, this palette will be ideal for fall, also for the holiday season, you know, for a nice glam look for New Year's Eve too. So when this dropped, I was like, okay, let me get it right away. And in fact, this palette right here um, got sold out pretty fast, but don't you worry because I have found it in a couple websites that is still available. I don't know if when I'm uploading this video, but regardless, I will be leaving all the details of this eyeshadow palette, the rest of my makeup on the description box below so that way you have the links and you know referrals of where to get all the products that I will be using today. So yes my friend, this is not the first eyeshadow palette from Byredo. I think this is the fifth one in the collection. In fact, I will have to say that I'm excited to try this new palette because I got so impressed about this Byredo Disco palette. I actually reviewed it, I think it was March of this year. Yes, March or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was March. Let me open it here for you. This one is such a gorgeous palette for all year round. And it kind of gave me the vibe of having the Victoria Beckham Beauty Silk Eyeshadow Palette as well as the Tone 4 Suspicion Palette. And the formulation is just amazing. So anyhow friends, going to what you came for, the Metal Boots in the Snow Eyeshadow Palette. This is it. This palette is made in Italy. And it has a shelf life of 12 months. This is how the palette comes inside with a little canvas pouch, little B right here. And then as you take it out, I think the eyeshadow palettes from Byredo, they are so unique. Love the design of the compact from Byredo. This kind of like Avalon type of shell, I, I think it's just so beautiful. And honestly, it's not bulky at all. And now let me show you how it looks. Metal boots in the snow. Wow. Look at that. I mean, this year has been the year that everybody has been waiting for these green shades. And we have seen a little bit during summer of like more limey greens or lighter greens. And right now, as we enter into the fall holiday season, we are seeing more of these army khaki green shades. But absolutely love the color story. And now this eyeshadow queen comes with eight grams of product that I will have to say that that is generous for a luxury type of brand and eyeshadows. Because like, for example, this palette right here from Charlotte Tilbury that comes with 12 shades comes with 9.5 grams of product. <laughs> this one is eight grams in total. So I think it's well done, compact and whatnot. Let's go for swatches now. Okay, so this shade right here is glitter. Is glitter madness. And as you know, guys, I'm not a person that really likes a lot of glitter on my eyes. It's not my thing. Now, these two shades right here are kind of like demi-matte, very smooth and creamy. And then this one right here is a satin shade. Ooh, this is beautiful. This shade right here is kind of like an olive green, while the any matte shade is more of like a army green. Yep, this is glitter. It does have kind of like a little bit of a base, but it's not a super tacky base. So definitely, if planning to use it, I will highly suggest for a glitter glue. And then this shade right here. Ooh. This shade right here is not really metallic, it's more like a satiny shade, but it has a beautiful chief of silver and a purple undertone. Do you see that? 
And then this shade right here that is olive green, it does have a little bit, let me build it up, a little bit of a chief. It does have a little bit of like a warmer undertone. It, I wouldn't say that it's a duochrome, but it plays around with that, you know, duality right there. Oh, there you go. You can see it right there, the warmth that it has. And then this one right here, you can tell it has that little flip of purple in it. What a beautiful color story. This blue one right here is not a navy blue. It's more of kind of like a teal blue type of thing. Let me give you a close up again. I just want to mention that the palette also comes with a nice size mirror right there, which is perfect. Now let's go ahead and get it started with an eyeshadow blue. There's not really right here kind of like a base to go with. So I'm just going to be adventurous and let's just work with what we have right here. So I'm going to go with BK Beauty and A503 brush and I'm going to the lightest green shade. Now, part of the brushes that I'm using today, I'm also leaving it in the description box below. This in particular is from the collaboration between BK Beauty and Angie from Hot and Flashy. So if you're curious about it. And now let's go and take this shade above the crease. BK Beauty 502 brush and I'm going to go to the army green shade and I'm taking this shade on the outer third. BK Beauty A504 brush and I'm going to go to the blue shade and I'm taking this shade right on the outer V just to make it a little bit deeper. Gorgeous blue shade. Sonia G flat definer and the blue shade. Smith 253 brush and I'm gonna go to the shade. Oh, silly me! I just noticed that the shade has names on the back. <laughs> okay, so let me just tell you right here really quick. This is Primas strap buckle ground frost and verglas smith 253 brush and i'm going to this silvery purpley shade and i'm taking the shade from the inner portion of my eyelid all the way until it meets with that army green shade. sonia g flat definer and the blue shade and i'm taking this shade on the upper lash line I'm going with the same blue shade, but I'm going to wet the brush. I want to see if I can intensify that shade. Now, it's not a metallic shade. It's more of like, again, a very soft, kind of demi man kind of formulation. Definitely, you can wet it. BK Beauty 204 brush and the shade Ground Frost. I'm applying this shade on my lower lash line. Sonia G flat definer and the blue shade. And I'm taking this shade on my lower lash line, very close to the roots of my lashes. Now I'm gonna sacrifice for you, my friends, because I'm not in the mood to put glitter on my eyelids. I think there's a place and a time for them, but for the purpose and the demo of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use this glitter silver shade right here. Now, it does have a very light base, but I just like to be safe. So I'm gonna use my NYX glitter glue. This is a really, really nice glue. I mean, for glitter glue, you don't need to, you know, go to <clears throat> Valentino <laughs> glitter glue. <laughs> Sorry, I reviewed the Valentino collection. Some products are really good. Mostly the blushes are really good, but anyhow, that's something if you have watched it. But Valentino also has a glitter glue for the eyes. But you know what? This NYX one, I, I can rely on really well. And I just put it a little bit right here and then I just tap it wherever I want the glitter to go, which is gonna be kind of like right in the middle. 
and then I just go with my finger and then I'm just gonna again tap it right in the middle just to keep that little sparkles to the center of the eyelid and that's pretty much it I just applied a little bit of mascara, eyeliner, eyeliner also on the waterline, then apply some lipstick, lip liner, again everything will be on the description box below. Honestly going now into this palette, I was thinking okay what other palettes I have that they have this similar color story and honestly I don't have palettes that have exactly the same color story. They are, I mean, like, I have some that they are cool tone, like this beautiful metallic denim from Tom Ford, but this one has more of taupey shades, more true blue shades, and, like, this is a blue, nippy blue black with the sparkles in it, which is gorgeous, and this one right here is more of, like, a gun metal blue. Again, different, I'm just going to swatch it right here so you can take a peek at it. Different formulation different tone like you can see right here that this has more like a teal kind of undertone so honestly i don't have or i don't recall having something that is so compact with this color story and that being said i'm going to jump right here until my final thoughts going first with i mean color story a total 100 percent they did amazing <laughs> this color story is just stunning i also love that they are giving us different formulations i mean we have right here one two three four type of different formulas at least of what i can actually see on my eyes these two shades right here although they are supposed to be a matte shade they are more of again like a demi matte they do have a slight sheen to it but it's not even satin and what is the beauty about this formulation right here is that for example i use today a more of like a fluffy brush it's not like a packing or denser brush so these shades right here if you're a person that doesn't want too much that you want a little bit of like a cool tone a smoky look but you know like keep it kind of like at minimal then you use a brush like this. Now, if you want to have a lot more intensity, then you want to use a brush, something along these lines right here, something that is a little bit, that it will pick up more the product. But here goes what I like about the formulation. Because these are not your typical matte shades, you can wet it and get even more intensity. And let me show you right here what I'm meaning with that. So I'm grabbing right here, this is an Isum brush. So I'm grabbing a little bit of that blue shade. I'm going to wet it with the Matte Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to apply it. And you see, like you can see even more blue. And I'm just going to put it right here. And you can see that it's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's the beauty of this type of formulation right here. That you can, it's a matte, again, but you can wet it and it's not going to damage the eyeshadow. And in fact, you're going to get even a more intense look. So you have that flexibility of where you want to take that eyeshadow look. And now these two formulas, I feel that they are a little bit different because this one right here is a beautiful olive green, but it has a warmth to it. It has a reddish undertone, so it makes the palette even a little bit more versatile because if you want to use these all over the lid, yes, you can. And today I apply it again with a fluffy brush, but if you go with a denser brush, you will see not a super, super dual chrome, and I will not say also that it will be like a one and done kind of eyeshadow, but it's an eyeshadow that it will give you a beautiful subtle shift to your eyelids i cannot wait to use it all by itself and then this shade right here is more of like a true satin shade where you can see i mean to me it's not really metallic metallic but i love that it has a purple lavender kind of undertone something again unexpected yet within the color story of these cool tones so everything kind of like pulls together you have earthy tones and then you know more of like say your snow you know like water tones your cooler tones it's part of that representation of the metal or the snow i mean truly stunning the only thing that i will have to say though is like white leader i mean the palette it's beautiful it works 
I didn't find any fallout with absolutely any of the shades and yes I used this glitter with a glitter glue but yet there's no fallout I would have rather had a very intense intense metallic instead of this glitter one but I mean other than that yeah I mean 100% I absolutely love this palette. I see that with this palette, I'm not only going to get a very intense smoky eye looks, but that I have that, again, that versatility to use just this shade or just this shade, these two shades right here, deepen it out a little bit with this shade. I mean, like, I think it's a really good curation from Byredo. It is very unique to my collection and truly, truly a beauty. I would like to know from you, my friends, that you were able to pick up these eyeshadow queen from Byredo. Are you interested in it? Are you putting it on the wish list? Have you tried it already? What about if we continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with family and friends and until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.